and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning, Box. I hope that yesterday's vlog was on time, but I accidentally uploaded the vlog from the day before. So, I need to get home and re-upload, but I have to drive Ken to work today because we only have one car, and I need to take Roslyn to speech. So, I need to go, 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 but there's nothing I love more than the smell of rain in the desert. So, you can't smell it, but here's a look at it. Ooh. We are dropping Ken off at work today because we only had one car. Yeah, because I think I told you guys about the story day. Um, oh, yeah, you told him about the fuel pump. Yeah, modifying the fuel pump right now, so we're fixing it. So. It was quite the fiasco to get Rosalyn into the car today. She was very upset. She didn't want her shoes on, and then she did want her shoes on, but she only wanted me to put them on, and it was like a whole situation. And you know, all this time the clock's ticking away, and so it got to the point where I was like, okay, we don't have time anymore. And so I kind of just scooped her up and was like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to be cutting it kind of close. But yeah. <laughs> Hello again, Box. Um, the last thing you saw was me dropping Ken off at work. And that means there was a huge gap in our filming because I am now picking Ken up oh from work. Goodness. Don't get in an accident. I'm good. It's cool. Um, okay. Well, that's not going to happen. That's okay, people. Oh. We got to figure this out without communicating. It's like one of those games. There we go. Sit. sit. So that okay, way. that was a little bit of a mess that just there happened. I am now picking Ken up from work, and that's because today has been super chaotic. It is 4.30. I did do a little bit of filming today. Um, I also called the birth center. Um, I'm hoping that my bump date was already up right now, but honestly, I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know if it is. I called the birth center this morning because I was having some more spotting, which I'm really not happy about. So I talked about that in the um, update, the bump date. So be sure you're subscribed over at Heidi Kim TV if you want to know more about that. But basically, I do want to say I'm not cramping and the birth center is not concerned at this point. But it has definitely been like just very stressful. It's been a very stressful day and Roslyn has been having a very rough day. So I have heard Apparently she had a whole situation with the stroller. Yes. She got hurt on the stroller earlier today. And she um, tripped on it. Yeah, she tripped on it this morning. <laughs> and I forgot to move it after I picked her up. So she came back and she saw it and she was still mad at it. And so she had this like full-fledged stroller meltdown where she was like wanted the stroller to be closed but it was closed and she just like yelled at the stroller for a little bit and finally i had to like remove her from the situation so i could remove the stroller because she got really mad if i like touched it and i was like okay you need to go in your room and calm down and i'm gonna move the stroller just hold on a minute because she has just been very passionate today yeah you know she has a bit of a dramatic flair i don't know where she gets it from it's not me <laughs> How was work? Um, it was a bit difficult today um, in that I forgot to pack lunch again. But it's okay because I keep a stash of ramen in my desk for situations such I was this. wondering why there was leftovers in the fridge. I ate them because I just saw the leftovers That's sitting fine. there. I was like, oh, I didn't know we had leftovers from last night. I thought you took your, your meal. Nope, nope. Totally forgot it. That's okay, though. You know, like I said, I keep a stash because I'm very forgetful about my lunch. Uh-huh. You okay? Is there a black widow on me? Anywhere? I don't see one. Okay. Now let's go get the dog's poop scooper and freaking, this is just like, I just feel it. Just this thick cottonish web cover my entire arm. Oh. And I was just like, oh! Yeah, we really need, could you clean the backyard? Yeah, I'll get on. Have you ever walked through like cobwebs? You know that feeling where you're like, you walk through a cobweb or something and it's just like, you feel like you just have spiders all over you and you're like, oh my gosh, spiders! Um, <clears throat> it's kind of what I did a little bit. It's like, oh, get it off! <laughs> and the thing with Black Widow Web is it's very thick and it's very sticky and it's really difficult to get off. <laughs> I think I've told them the Black Widow story. Oh, when you got bit with the... Yeah, I think I told you guys when I got bit in high school because someone said I should have sued the nurse. 
I probably should have, honestly. I, I don't know about that, but. She lost her job. She should have lost her job, but she should have lost it when, it when that happened. Yeah. So I got bit by a black widow for anyone who hasn't heard this story, and the nurse wouldn't even look at it because she used to be an ER nurse. And so she wouldn't give me Benadryl and she wouldn't look at it. And the school had a known Black Widow problem. Like it was a Black Widow infestation. And they had sent home all kinds of stuff the year before talking about it. And then I got bit the beginning of the next year. Unfortunately, I wasn't allergic, but if I had been, I could have ended up in the hospital. Instead, I just felt really, really sick all weekend. So she was incompetent. I had never been to the nurse. No, she was, I'm really mad about it. I hadn't been to the nurse for three years. That was my senior year of high school and I had never been to the nurse before that happened. And she wouldn't even look at my bite. It's not like I was a girl who cried wolf. I've been there a couple times. Two of those times involved bleeding. Um, like profuse. So, so the same nurse? Yeah, but yeah, it was like. Did she just ignore you? No, she just, she, she basically threw some gauze at me. It was like, make it stop. And I was like, okay. Wait, she had you do it? She didn't bandage it herself? No, she didn't bandage okay. herself. <clears throat> yeah, she lost her job. Yeah, in other news, Calypso. She's like, why are you putting me on the spot? Do something interesting. Oh, did you see the comment that someone else had a dog named Calypso? <gasps> no. Are you yeah, serious? they're Pomeranian. I can't remember who said it. I sent you a message or I replied to your comment, but yeah, there was another dog named Calypso. That's amazing. She said she subscribed as soon as she heard her name. <laughs> ah, you got like a little Calypso club going here. Hi. Nice to meet you, Calypso. Oh, okay. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. You want some affection, don't you? Yes, good boy. Here you go, Box, your daily dose of doggies. Whoa, okay, bud. Okay, let's get off me, please. It always ends in a hollow jumping. <clears throat> it does. And Calypso doing this weird thing with her paw. Cut me more. What did you find, little cub? Yes. This is called a glossic. <laughs> Wait. See. Do the magic. Do the magic. Gotta turn the lights out first, okay? Yeah. Two. Two. Three. Well, that was less exciting. <laughs> it's anticlimactic. <laughs> a little gasp. I know. It's like a little toddler rave. Do you like it? <laughs> you do your beatboxing. <laughs> Here, let's get some music on for you, little girl. <laughs> Little Cup's interpretive dance, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a kiss? Kiss. Oh. Wait, could I have a real kiss where you actually touch your lips to my lips? Ah, oh, thank you. Can I have an agamaga? Thank you. Can I have a hug? I love you. Thank you for oh. tucking me in. Night, night. Nice of you, little cub, tucking mommy in. Heidi's having a rough time with the progesterone effects. They're just making her super sick. Um, she gets like really nauseous and dizzy, and she's just like, "Oh, I don't feel good." <laughs> and so, um, on my end, um, I'm having to pick up. Yes, the vlog. We were watching the vlog, but we're gonna pause for a moment because Dad wants to talk to Box. You want to talk to Box? No. You don't know? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, the vlog's going over there. Um, anyway, so um, Heidi and I had a conversation on Sunday. We're like, um, I think that I need to step it up a little bit. Because <laughs> Heidi's just like so like not feeling good all the time because of the progesterone. Anyways, we talked about how um, different ways I can help around the house a little bit more to, uh, to make her life a little bit easier. Like doing the dishes, for example, or cooking. So that's the plan. No, hey, hey, is that where that goes? Uh, no, well, okay, first, put this on the counter, please. Thank you, this ain't no Holiday Inn, little cub. I don't think, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Holiday Inns don't really do that sort of thing. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, let's clean your shirt up, okay? Come on. Little Cub, what are you reading? Book. A book? Which book is it? Can I see? We're reading yeah. Nick Jr. The Backyard Again, Mission to Mars. That's what we're going to read tonight. And then, night, night. Yeah. I see you still got your glow stick. Doom, 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 doom. Can you go? You do it. I think it's bedtime, Luca. I'm going to read this book to you, but first we need to say bye to Box. Will you say bye to Box? Bye bye! <laughs> Will you say subscribe? Can you say subscribe? No. Will you give us a thumbs up? Say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Uh, if you're new around here, uh, subscribe down below. We do this every single day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye! Bye bye. You? You have to tell me what color it is, okay? Is this cupcake the color orange or red? No, it's not red. Good try, though. Let me see. Is it orange or green? Yes. No, it's not green. Little cup, is this orange or blue? Look, look. Is this cupcake orange or blue?